Hey, how's it going? Hope you guys are having fun. Real important. Um, needed to uh, let you guys know some important information. If uh, you guys are working with the free the VTHCV seeds that we gave away last year, we gave away a thousand packs of these uh, with 20 seeds each. So that means 20,000 seeds are out there somewhere in the world. Um, but I've gotten uh, some information and feedback from uh, some people who grew these out and did lab testing. So this is incredibly important if you're lab testing and pheno hunting for THCV with our seeds or any other THCV project you're working on. And this is insanely important. Okay, when you go to the lab, the cannabis lab, you need to ask them specifically this question. Do you test for THCVA? You have to ask for THCVA. And THCVA is the raw acidic form of THCV. Because uh, if your lab only tests for THCV without the A on the end of it, then they're only testing for decarb heated THCV and your raw flour, and by the way, I've got a sample of some THCV. Uh, this is uh, our uh, Free the V, just one example, one pheno, but this is chunky, beautiful, really high bag appeal, could totally pass for modern, uh, like grade A uh, cannabis, but this, this right here has a little over 7% THCV in it and about 9% uh, THC. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to do everything I can to explain this. Okay, so here's lab results and I'm going to show pictures as well. So when you go to the lab, so right there, and by the way, when you have a, a raw flower, all the THC in that raw flower is actually THCA. It's the raw form of, of THC. It doesn't turn to THC until you light it on fire or cook it. So the same with the THCV, what you're testing for in a flower is the THCVA, the raw THCVA. And as you can see here, this one was 7.159% THCVA and 9.947 THCA. And then down below, you'll see only 0.41%. THC because it's not decarb yet. No one's heated the flour yet. And then the uh, THCV, the decarb version, is really low too. So what's happened um, is some people got these seeds, took it to a lab that didn't test for THCVA, only THCV. Uh, so then they contacted me and said, hey, your seeds are bugged. There's no THCV in them. But the reason being, again, is they weren't testing for THCVA, the acidic form. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so anyone who knows uh, breeding though or anything should really know this. And by the way, even when you're testing your flower for THC, it, you're really testing for THCA. Uh, so anyway, have that conversation with your lab. I can tell you for a fact, SC Labs, does test for THCVA, because I do these tests all the time with them. And that's gonna give you uh, the THCV potential of the flower for when it's lit on fire or cooked and heated and converted to THCV. So anyway, hope that makes sense. And by the way, uh, anyone, so we've already kinda been there, done that. We did our uh, THCV uh, breeding program. I did it for the fun of it. I got it up to like seven, eight percent THCV or THCVA content in the flower with around nine to ten percent THC. Um, and then we gave them all away for free for you guys to go out, have fun with them, pheno hunt it, put it in the public domain, uh, do cool crosses. Uh, to add some THCV to the mix of your really cool THC flowers. Um, and then I wanted to show you as well. So, a uh, few things here. Okay, I'm going to show you first the uh, tinctures. So if you're interested in experimenting with some THCV, we do make 
uh, THCV tincture, olive oil tincture, that is decarb THCV, and uh, we're uh, these are in shops in uh, California at dispensaries. And uh, THCV, it's just this really cool effect that you get when you consume it. You do get kind of psychedelic eyes. You get kind of stony, but you also know exactly where your car keys are. You don't forget your name, and it's like you get. Um, stony but the thcv sort of like surgically slices out the confusion uh yeah the confusion and the fog so it's you're still very clear you can really concentrate uh so people with attention uh challenges really like thcv and then people who are very creative and just like a really energized um effect but where you can also be really focused, like be really creative. And then uh, if you're into playing music, you can really concentrate on technical scales and really uh, laser focus on technical issues while also being sort of psychedelicized. So it's a cool effect. And then also, and by the way, we wanna make a raw THCVA uh, version of tincture as well, because I think that Actually, I've eaten a bunch of the leaves and consumed it that way, and that was really interesting as well. Um, and just so you know, we also, raw cannabinoids is a whole nother subject, but here's um, uh, THCA that we make as well. So that's a whole nother discussion, but um, yeah, raw cannabinoids are really amazingly cool and interesting. Now, why don't you just show you uh, this as well so here's our thc v free the v thc v seeds and wanted to show you i'll post some other pictures as well but just wanted to give you an idea of what um, these final flowers look like and this is just one pheno there's about four or five uh, pheno so there's tons of variety but hopefully this comes out on the camera but yeah this particular v pheno i mean that could actually pass as really high quality modern bud. I'm gonna give that a little squeeze just so you can see. I'm pushing really hard. That is rock hard, super dense, and it's about 20% cannabinoids because this is uh, a little over 7% THCV, a little over 9% uh, THC, and then it's got uh, CBGs and CBDs and CBDVs in there as well. So the here's it uh, trimmed, here's it untrimmed. And this is just one pheno. We also had uh, a green pheno, the super frosty. We have an extremely purple pheno. Uh, we have a periwinkle pheno as well. And then some that are a little more uh, African, uh, airy and larfy and long spear version. But this is the super dense chunk, uh, sort of modern bag appeal version. Um, and on top of all that, this is actually a semi-auto. So uh, these were actually harvested last April of uh, 2022, uh, but you can grow at any time of year, uh, but it's uh, light sensitive, so you can veg it. By the way, this, this plant was about three pounds of yield in a 25 uh, gallon pot. So this thing is massive, has, tremendous yield potential it has that modern uh, bag appeal look smells like uh, cat piss and grapes with a little funk so it's a really cool plant so and anyway if anyone's still interested we have about 50,000 of these seeds still left uh, but it really is actually a production ready THCV plant that uh, could really use a little more breeding to bring to um, do a little bit more with it. Uh, it would be really cool to do an S1 uh, feminized version uh, for production of, of you know whatever pheno you really uh, like. Uh, but anyway, so that's what's going on. Uh, we've kind of moved on to other things. We're just exploring all the land race uh, varieties. Uh, but yeah, as far as um, yeah, just wanted to share this, but especially for people who are testing and playing with THCV, make sure you talk to your lab about raw THCV 
A. You have to test for the A, otherwise you won't get the results and it will appear that the plants have no THCV in them. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I could ramble on and on about uh, canvas breeding and everything else as well, but there, oh man, that is, it's pretty impressive, especially for THCV. Oh, and by the way, I grew some other THCV varieties that are out there right now on the market. Um, don't want to toot my own horn too much, but they were nowhere near as chunky as this. A lot of them were like 12 or 14 week flower period, where this is like eight to nine weeks flower period, plus it's semi-auto. Um, so, yeah, it turns out this is a pretty cool plant. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it and uh, feel free to ask questions because this is a very exciting topic and uh, just, I think THCV and THCVA are one of the coolest cannabinoids out there and would love to uh, explore uh, or collaborate with other people who might be interested. Anyway, 